Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video and also the end of another week, which means Makes Movies Weekly Watches Episode 2. So let's get into it and let's talk about all the films and the TV shows I've been watching over this past week. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome to Makes Movies. <laughs> and so this new series, well, kind of new series, if you haven't watched the first one, I recommend watching it. I'll put it at the end of this video for you to click on. Um, but basically, I used to do a Meg's Movies weekly roundup. So every Sunday I used to talk about the films and the things I picked up that week. I decided to split them into two videos and to see how I get on with that. So we have made it to episode two. So I obviously start off by talking about the films that I have watched this week. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting from last Friday, because it goes Friday to Thursday is how I plan it out. So I'm just going to move over to the side. Um, I'm also following my letterbox, because that's how I keep track of the films I've watched. I'll put posters there, give you my quick thoughts, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the first film I watched that week was Horton Here's a Who, a Jim Carrey classic. I actually really enjoy this film, it's one of my fun ones. Um... And basically, because I'm doing a Blue Sky Studios ranking, obviously, Horton Is A Who is part of the Blue Sky Studios centerpiece. <laughs> um, I actually really enjoy this film. It's outrageous, it's weird, it's hilarious, it's Jim Carrey. Of course I'm going to love it. <laughs> um, and I never get bored of it, to be honest. Every time I watch it, I always get concerned. But I will say, I do enjoy the Dr. Seuss films. Um, even the Cat in the Hat one, the live action with Mike Myers. Um... But no, this is a really fun film and one I'll never get bored of. And then on that same day, I finished Moon Knight, the TV programme. Um, so that's all done and dusted now. I actually really quite enjoyed that TV show. Um, and then the following day, I ended up watching the Assembled, the making of Moon Knight. So with the Marvel shows, they've been posting uh, documentary style films. On Disney Plus about the making of the things. It was quite fun to watch the making of Moon Knight. I really enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of that and I'm actually looking forward to season two of Moon Knight. I think it's going to be really good and yeah I know it's a TV show I've mixed in with the films but the Marvel TV shows you can put on your letterbox so that's why I've included it here. And then back to films again. Um, so I am continuing on with my Ice Age films and of course I watched Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. This is one of my favourite sequels out of this franchise. I love the addition of Buck to the group. He is hilarious, witty, love Simon Pegg. <laughs> um, I love the side plot with Sid and then with, De uh, with Manny and Ellie and a little bit with the Diego as well. I like the fact that it was all about change and how it can affect the herd and stuff like that. But this is one of my absolute favorite sequels from this franchise. Um, it's one I never get bored of. Every time I watch it, I find more to laugh at. And yeah, I, I just love Buck. Buck's become my, my favorite character of the franchise. <laughs> After Sid, of course. <laughs> uh, then on um, the next day I watched Rio, in Rio I realised. <laughs> um, I don't mind Rio. It's not my favourite from Blue Skies. I will say the only thing I really enjoyed about it was the characters and the music. The music is very party-like. I like the... Um, it's called I Want a Party, I think. Or Hot Wings. It's one of the two. Um, but that's a really fun song in the film. The characters I do enjoy... But for some reason with this film, I just can't get into it. Whether it's because it's a plot that I've seen before. Or if it's just... I don't know. Just every time I watch it, I can't really get into it. And it sucks because, like I said, the music is fun in this one. It's very upbeat. It makes you want to dance to the beat, you know, every time you hear it. But unfortunately for me, Rio is one of the downfalls of the blue skies. Unfortunately. <laughs> Then I started catching up on more of my 2022 movies I haven't seen, and I watched Not Okay. This was weird as hell. I I kind of enjoyed it, but at the same time, it wouldn't be my go-to film because of the subject matter. <laughs> like, 
I weren't sure about it at first and then it was I then got intrigued by it and now it's just I'm very I liked some aspects some were funny I liked the serious side of things as well I kind of wish they focused more on the serious side though because when it did make me laugh I felt bad for laughing because of the subject matter of it so sort of like the backstory to it so they tried to make it a comedy but I think if they stuck to it being more serious I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more but because of the subject matter I definitely don't think I'll be going back to this one it'll be a very rare thing I go to maybe if someone wanted to watch it with me I'll watch it but it wouldn't be like a oh I feel like watching a film about a girl who fakes being in a terrorist attack yeah that's mm. yeah that one was a weird one for me I'm I can't get that out of my head actually um so let's move on to something a bit more brighter because I had work that night and I was like I really don't want my last film before my shift to be something that drastic so I put on Sonic the Hedgehog yes because Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was coming out on the Monday and I was like right want to watch the first one before I watch the second one again because I really enjoyed the first one it's Jim Carrey back at his game doing his classic comedy his sarcastic comments I really enjoyed the first Sonic I weren't sure about it um I have played the games a little bit I grew up with Sonic um sorry Riley can you move buddy Riley move sorry <laughs> he's in the way of my phone so I can't see it um so yeah Sonic the Hedgehog I really quite enjoy this film this cat is going to be a pain can you move buddy sorry stay there <laughs> um but yeah no I really enjoy Sonic and I watched Sonic 2 at the end of the week so stay tuned for that one um then I watched Ice Age Continental Drift I don't mind this one like it's a good sequel but at the same time I do feel like with this one they went a little bit silly in the fact of they went with pirates like from my point of view, the first one was about the Ice Age in general. Then Ice Age 2 was about the whole fact that the ice was melting. And then the third one was about the dinosaurs. So you kind of felt like it was a history film wrapped in something that was quite serious for kids to watch, you know, so they could understand. But then with this one, I felt like it just went a little bit silly with pirates. I don't know why, but I like the fact that they did keep the seriousness of the fact that the world changes every time with each film. But I kind I like the pirates, don't get me wrong, like Captain Gart, Peter Dinklage. Favourite, I like him. And I like the addition of Shearer. Is that the name? Shearer? The cat, um, Sabre. I like the addition of her and Granny. Granny's hilarious. I love Granny. <laughs> um, but aside from that, it's not my favourite sequel, but at the same time, it's not the worst for me. And I would go back to this one, just not sure how much I'd go back. Uh, then I watched for the first time The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So this is the Nick Cage film about Nick Cage. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Um... I'm a little bit gutted. I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. I really wanted to enjoy it. From the trailer, it looked funny. Now, I think it might be because I was tired. It was just before I was going for my night shift. I didn't get much sleep that day, so I kind of feel like maybe I wasn't concentrating on the film that much. I get what it was trying to parody, like parody, par parodying. Is that the word? I don't know. <laughs> I do see where it was coming from, and I think that's a really cool aspect to go for. But for me, I just struggled to get into it. I really hope it is just because I'm tired. Because I do plan to watch this again further down the line. I'm not going to watch it straight away now. Because um, it would be a bit weird. Um, but I will give it a little bit more time before I watch it again. And hopefully, this time I'll watch it in the daytime. When I'm sitting up on the sofa. Because not going to lie, if you nod off for even a minute during this film. You will wake up confused because I fell asleep one minute and I was in one scene and then the next minute Nick Cage was in makeup like prosthetics <coughs> apologies I don't know where my voice is going um but yeah so don't nod off that's all I'm gonna say even for a minute don't do it because you will get confused very quickly <laughs> um then of course there was the parting of Olivia Newton-John 
who played Sandy in Grease. So of course I watched my absolute favourite musical of all time, Grease. I had to. She, Sandy was one of my favourite characters growing up because I felt like I was Sandy. I was that girl that was sort of like always like school edge situated. She's sort of like classic, old fashioned. I always felt like Sandy and I felt like I could relate to her as a character and I'm so gutted Olivia Newton-John has passed. Um, she made Sandy her role and it is such an amazing film and Grease is the film that not only got me into films but also got me into musicals because if I hadn't watched Grease I don't think I would have got into musicals as much as I am now. But no, Grease is one of my absolute favourite movies of all time. It would make my top 100 for so for certain. And of course when she passed, I had to watch it. Uh, there was no ifs, ands or buts about it. I had to watch it. I sang along. I pretty much mimicked all the lines because I've seen this film so many times. Um, but it's definitely one I recommend you guys watch because it is such a classic. It's nostalgia. It's... The music is catchy, the characters are fun, and I really do recommend watching this. Of course, I then carried on the Grease theme and watched Grease 2. One of my guilty pleasure films. I'm going to outright say it. I enjoyed this one. I know a lot of people don't like this one, but I do. I mean, yes, there is one song that's really annoying on there. Um, reproduction. <laughs> but all the other songs on there are fun. The characters are fun. I like... Um, Oh god, Michelle Pfeiffer's character, I can't remember her name. And the new guy, Michael Carrington. <laughs> um, I liked Zanoni, that's it, Zanoni, what to think. I liked them too, I thought they were a cute relationship couple. I will say my only issue is that the T-Birds and the Pink Ladies in this one felt like knockoffs of the originals. In a way, like they just felt like they were trying to copy them and they didn't feel like pink ladies to me or t-birds but in, I, I still enjoy this film I really do um, it's a guilty pleasure of mine I don't know why I get such a bad rep I mean I get yeah Grease is an absolute classic but I think Grease 2 is still fun I definitely even recommend a one-time watch for it just to give it a go um, one of my favorite songs in this is Cool Rider absolutely love that film uh, that song it's always stuck in my head whenever I think about it I've got it in my head now actually <laughs> um, but no please just give it at least a one time watch it's definitely worth it okay and then to finish off my movie watches for this week I watched Sonic 2 again yes because it got delivered so you'll see that in my pickups on Sunday but yes I really enjoy Sonic 2 in fact I think it's a little bit better than the first one I like the addition of Knuckles Idris Elba I felt was so good for the role of Knuckles Jim Carrey, I felt like he got more lines in this one and he was just so much more fun in this one. I don't know what it was. Um, I really hope that, I know he's retiring or retired, one of the two, um, but I really hope he comes back for Sonic 3 because they have announced that there is going to be a Sonic 3 and they've announced a, re or announced a release date. But because he's retired, I don't know if he's going to come back and I kind of want him to. I really hope he does because I love his character of Robotnik. It's, he's sarcastic, he's funny, he's witty, he's a good bad guy. Um, but no, I really enjoy this film. Uh, the effects are really good. I might even like the human plot side of things because I know quite a lot, I know quite a few people didn't like the human side plot and stuff. But the part with <laughs> the part with the bride just going on the thing and she's like, Randall, wife is home! And just. <laughs> Every time I watch that scene, I can't stop laughing. It's so funny. But no, I really enjoy this film. It's so much fun. I definitely would watch this again. So that's the movies. Uh, let's go on to the TV programs. I am still watching the same shows I watched last week, except the only thing is now, because I finished Moon Knight, I'm now watching Miss Marvel. Now, with this one, I am actually truly struggling to get into this one. Um, I've watched... The first two episodes, I haven't even got to episode three yet, and I started this straight after Moon Knight. So, yeah, I'm kind of really struggling to get into this one. I mean, maybe if I try and push myself to watch more of the episodes, I might get into it. But for now, 
Miss Marvel, I think, is my least favourite of the shows so far that I have seen. There's a couple I still haven't watched completely yet. Um, but who knows? Maybe it might improve by the end. I don't know. But for me, for now, I'm only two episodes in. And I'm not a massive fan. Just saying. Um, so then at the end of the video, I always say what my film of the week was and my TV show of the week. So my film of the week this week is going to be Grease. Of course it is. It's my absolute favourite movie of all time. There's no way this weren't going to be the film of the week for me. And I will always look forward to watching this every time I get around to it. <laughs> um, but the TV show of the week um, is actually going to go to Teen Wolf. I forgot how much the good, uh, how good the first season is. I am really getting into it now, especially now I'm into like the last couple of episodes. I really enjoy Teen Wolf. I do just need, technically I just really need to watch the final season, but I'm watching it all the way from the beginning because you never know if anything from the other previous seasons are going to be in the new film. So I'm trying to be prepped. I'm trying to be good. So yeah, that is everything I have watched this week and also just basically the fact that I'm now watching Miss Marvel. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below. Sorry, my camera stopped recording. <laughs> and also leave me your comments and thoughts on the films that you've watched this week or the TV shows you started to watch this week. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!